Over 80 years of operations, Fulton Hogan has faced its share of challenges. In the last couple of years, we've been rocked to the core by five fatalities um, in the face of what we thought were generally improving um, safety trends. These fatalities led to a fundamental change in Fulton Hogan's approach to safety. So when we looked at the um, tragedies that we have had in Fulton Hogan, and we looked around the industry that we work in, it became uh, increasingly obvious to us that there are five critical risk areas in our business. The company has recalibrated its safety activities to target these critical risks. It also adopted seven golden safety rules. And the seven golden rules all do align to the five critical risk areas. To engage staff in solving the problem, the company set up working groups of staff and managers to tackle each critical risk area. And one of the things we determined early is that we're going to have any show of getting, getting on top of our five critical risk areas is that we really needed to engage our people. To help ensure safety messages are understood, it's simplifying its communications. So a couple of things that we've done, instead of having thick manuals with pages and pages of notes and regulations and all the rest of it, is we've come up with what we call the safety essentials. Teams can sit down with them and, and we, we, through pictorial means, we show the right way of doing things and the wrong way of doing things. It's also standardising processes and equipment. We're really trying hard to have now one standard for trailer couplings, for example. And, and with that, that of course reduces, reduces the complexity, reduces, uh, reduces the risk enormously. The company's also expanded the range of safety data it collects outside of traditional measures like lost time injuries and medical treatments. While we still report those things because they are one part of your dashboard, the other thing that the board is more interested in than those statistics is our high and extreme risk incidents. At each, each month at board level, we, we must table our high and extreme risk incidents. The company has a program to develop safety leadership in its managers. Um, and we work really hard at providing the right level of training and leadership um, training um, th through all levels of the organisation. The company's making this investment because it sees safety leadership as a core management skill. If you can't manage safety, you can't manage 